pleased that it went. Hey, to Sam made it. it. As quietly as instead of on the as I've said before, uh, I, I can't afford to have Main Street closed. Uh, so eight, Five thousand bus riders, we've got twenty-five hundred bikers, seventy-four hundred automobile drivers, eight bus lines. It looks like if you call it Little Street in the park, but it actually serves as, a, as an important uh, transportation and transit connection for downtown. It's the main west, sorry, east-west off-ramp to the Hawthorne Bridge. And with the Morrison Bridge, you know, under major maintenance, it's it's even that much more important. So, we're not going to be doing anything, we're not moving it, anything against the camps, but we are going to maintain Main Street. Are you moving the vehicles? Are you moving the vehicles? The last one is just about to leave. Do you think this is somewhat symbolic of Main Street? Correct. Today is, today is really about uh, getting the, the street open. Um, they were unable to come to a decision on their own in terms of their own position. Some of you were here yesterday when we I spoke to them directly that I, I was going to open the street, and this morning we opened the street. We're not, we're not moving against the camps. Uh, this is about you know, getting a, what, what might look like a bucolic little park lane is actually a, a pretty important connection for transit oh, and transportation. Gonna, you're not see him. Ma uh, Mayor, uh, Lieutenant King was saying earlier that, he is, that the police have repeatedly uh, told the uh, group that they are violating city laws, by, but city uh, code by being in the park. Can you talk about why you're not taking action to remove them when they're in violation of, of code? Well, just like when a police officer sees someone, you know, making a, a traffic moving violation, uh, they have discretion over whether to pull that person over, whether to write them a ticket, a written warning, or, or verbal warning. Um, and, you know, we too in government have discretion, and we're using that discretion. Uh, this is, uh, you know, there are now Occupy Wall Street camps in uh, hundreds of cities across the United States. And uh, mayors and police chiefs across the United States are just having to make practical day-to-day -day decisions about keeping the peace, uh, protecting people's legal rights to freedom of expression, uh, and at the same time keeping the city, this city and all cities, moving. That's about practical day-to-day -day leadership and, and we have and exercise our ability of discretion. Can How long do you think you'll let them the stay there? Yeah, I'm, I'm not park? as... Uh, where are you from? Oregonian. Yeah, we're we're not doing what ifs. Can you talk about what's happening on either side? I know there was some concern that the parks will will be next. Is that the case? No. We've been told by police that the parks will remain intact. Just opening the road this morning. Is that correct? Yeah. So today is about opening the road. The the Occupy camp portions they'll remain intact. Uh, today is about making sure that uh, vital might be small, might be modest, but still a very vital transportation link. Uh, is opened up and, and and we've you know we've the reason I think it's been peaceful is that our you know that the police bureau and my office staff has has been done a lot of outreach um, and others to make sure that this was peaceful. But what about and, and a lot of folks in the a lot of folks in the camps themselves um, you know were supportive of opening the road. The the focus of this occupation you know is you know, pointing to some very legitimate concerns about growing inequality in this nation. It has nothing to do with blocking a, a street here in Portland. Mayor, how can you guarantee that the traffic will move safely and that these occupiers will not make their way back into the street? Well, you know, I'm a mayor, so, uh, and these are protesters, so the guarantee, you know, there, there aren't necessarily guarantees, but we're going to keep the street open. What, what do you think the symbolic value or the nature is of uh, Main Street being reopened by the police? Could you comment uh, on that? This is, uh, this is less about symbol symbolism as just practical, you know, this is a practical uh, effort on our part to keep the city moving. I think we're doing a good job with opening the street of both keeping the city moving and of protecting people's given rights of free speech. Last Sir, night they came to a consensus. Obviously, we're in the street right now. Yeah, so, so clear off the street. We can continue you're the last the remaining people in the street, so media. We can, we're happy to continue this. Sam, there's a saying you like give someone an inch, they take a mile. Has that been the case by the yeah, protesters right. here? Uh, you know, it's. 
I, you know, give an inch, take a mile. Is that a loaded question? Uh, you know, that's a, a, it's a, it's freighted, a fair question. It's a, of course, it's a fair question. It's a freighted question. This is about practical. Just we got to keep the city uh, open. We got to keep the city running. Uh, you know, permanent closure of a street like this. You know, I've told them. You know what? I uh, can't accept it. Now, you all are going to be the last people to leave the street. So well, follow me. Let's go this way. You know, there haven't been a lot. I mean, this has been a, this group has up till now, you know, been, you know, very, when we raise an issue, a concern with them, they've been uh, quick to help us out with the exception of locking the street. It's been very peaceful and, uh, you know, very cooperative. Why this morning? Why today? Um, because I, I felt we had given them sufficient warning. We had um, made good plans, and it's time to do it. They said it takes so long to get to this point. I mean, why'd you guys left? Why'd you let them stay in the streets so long? You know, we shut down streets for a lot longer than three days. So it's always, you know, I got to make a judgment call. The police, you know, have to make a judgment call, and. and you know, these things are gonna, you know, these occupations in New York City have been about three weeks, so we're going to, uh, you know, day by day. Sam, it's about practical leadership. Would you, re would you acknowledge that uh, the group did come to consensus last night that the street would be opened and there has been a process and there are a lot of people here? No, there wasn't a, there was not a, uh, the word we got back from a number of people that consensus was not to open the street. For our viewers at home who, who didn't get to hear everything because you started to talk a few minutes ago, um, can you reiterate why you're not removing them from the parks even though they're in direct violation of city ordinance? Yeah, I mean, that we the city, my job and the police bear's job is to protect people's legal rights, uh, freedom of speech under the law, and to also, we've got the practical responsibility to make sure that when people exercise that right, that the rest of the city isn't shut down, that other folks, businesses and, and workers and people that live downtown, you know, also have the ability to uh, function successfully. So that's a balancing act. And the city has discretion, just like our, you see that often as police officers, when they see someone, Could they you know, breaking the law, they have the like right Brandon to uh, not pull them over, to, to, uh, to give them a ticket, to give them a written warning. So we have discretion and, and we're exercising that discretion here. This is this is not unique to Portland. There are occupies all over the United States and mayors and police chiefs are taking these kind of practical approaches uh, to dealing with it. So that, it's a balance. Are you in direct communication with the organizers of this Occupy Portland? Well, we've been in communication. There are a variety of people, you know, because it's a, an assembly um, and it operates on sort of a consensus model. Um, it, you know, we, we've, we've worked with a number of people that, you know, are trying to provide sort of shape to this. But, um, you know, we've done our outreach. I've been to the camp as I am now uh, numerous times. I came and talked to people personally that were sitting in the street and said, you know, we got to open this up. And uh, so these are, these are not surprises. I really appreciate those in the camp who've been willing to, you know, focus on their core mission, which is to raise very important issues that are troubling this nation, issues and concerns that I share. That has nothing to do with blocking Main Street. Hey, and we're going to take one more question, and then we're going to get off the edge of the sidewalk. There we go. Mayor, uh, the police, one question. with the police here, are you prepared to keep them in place on the street while this demonstration continues? How long could this continue to keep the street open? You know, there, there are great what-ifs uh, questions, uh, and, and I'm engaging in, and the police chief is engaging in practical day-to-day -day governance and decision-making, making that balance between protecting people's right to protest and free speech while keeping the city operating, running, and basically functioning. So, uh, you know, we're going to keep Main Street open. Thank you, Mayor, folks. You we're going to get off the edge of the sidewalk. Uh, Thank you. Can you open up Main Street with that issue rather than the media night? for yeah, a little Yeah, that would be nice. There's a lot of people here. Oh, I've been here. down here many times to yeah. address the occupation. And there are people here But now. I would also like, like to, to point out that there was, I believe, a general yeah, consensus great. reached last night amongst the people to hold, open this up on Saturday for everyone. It, that's not true. Um, we had were people. you here? No, I had my staff here, and that was not the consensus.